Since Elysium and Nostalarius teamed up to bring Vanilla back to life, the entire community has exploded. The number of people playing on the Elysium private server absolutely dwarfs every other private server currently and every other one I've played previously. Before today, if you wanted the original Vanilla WoW experience, you had to deal with buggy servers, low population, hackers, pay to win systems, stupid high XP drop rates, and plenty of other things that bastardized the classic WoW experience. Now that we have a stable, populated, quote unquote, blizz like vanilla server to play on, I've had the pleasure of reliving the OG leveling. Today, we'll discuss the vanilla versus retail experience and how nostalgia doesn't account for all the love vanilla receives. I'm not going to focus on any specific gameplay element too heavily, but rather address the broader immersive effects gameplay has on you as a player. It's important in an MMO to immerse the player so that your actions feel significant when alongside thousands of others doing the same exact thing. Giving players multiple paths and choices is one way to give the player that immersive agency that makes them grow attached to their character. You choose what challenges to overcome and which to ignore. You set small goals between larger goals and your character's journey becomes your own. In Retail WoW, there's a certain level of streamlining that has erased that journey and challenge. The structure of zones and quests in Modern WoW has you flying through areas quickly destroying every mob and dungeon in your path as you marathon to level 110 so you can get to the real game, raiding. And raiding in Modern WoW is nice, you have deeper mechanics, more variety, but none of the exclusivity. You can immerse players using cutscenes, dialogue, and impressive visuals, yes, but the actual gameplay itself and your interactions with other players through that gameplay is the true immersion. Not that surface level, whoa, this looks epic immersion, but something deeper that gripped you tight enough to make you work to level 40 on foot, even though it felt like a slog sometimes. In Vanilla WoW, there were so many quests and zones that were incredibly challenging to complete and required a lot of time and effort. Every zone left a memorable imprint on your mind, some more negative or positive than others. You'd think back on your time in certain zones with a bit of a power trip, even though it was only five levels ago you were getting infinitely ganked and dying to yellow level mobs while trying to quest there. With enough time and effort though, you'd reach your goals and every level felt like an accomplishment. Remember when saying ding and slash g actually meant something? It seems laughable to celebrate any level but max level in modern WoW. You can get max level in what, like a week if you play casually today. You won't even remember not being max level. Alternatively, the time and effort required to get max level and begin raiding in vanilla needed to come from a group of people, not just an individual. You were asked to undertake incredible feats of skill, endurance, and or patience in order to achieve certain items so that few people on your server would actually own them. It was obvious if you saw someone with full tier 2 or 1 or even a full dungeon set that they were a committed and skilled player. Not only that, but it spoke to their personal character. So they had to be a team player and have strong teamwork skills in order to complete the in-game dungeons and raids. You had to be prepared. You had to communicate. You felt an obligation to your party to avoid wiping and avoid ninja looting. This added so much immersion and replayability just through the social interaction needed to complete tasks within the game. If you were a troll, a ninja looter, or just a really bad player, word would spread. Trade chat may hear your name later, and you could end up on a lot of ignore lists, making it really difficult to complete group tasks. Nowadays, you can always just switch servers, change your character name, or not even worry about it because it's cross-server anyways. You don't have a community to answer to. Beyond that, the choice and specialization may have been muddy and confusing back in the day, but it allowed for much more custom hybridization and didn't have the mass homogenization you see in retail WoW. I've heard the criticism that vanilla WoW players weren't skilled or smart because they didn't have the same resources as today, like how you can Google literally any problem you have in retail WoW and find a perfect, scientific, mathematical answer. On my current Elysium character, I thought I knew vanilla, but often found myself with questions that didn't have obvious answers through Google, which is part of why I began this channel, and had to actually experiment within the game or ask guildies for advice. When there isn't a perfect build for every class or the perfect route to level every race, players have to become creative, and in a sandbox style MMO, creativity will take you a very long way. Many retail players who are trying out vanilla for the first time on Elysium have me somewhat pompously laughing at how little they know about a game they thought they were great at. When you take away the mount being shoved in your face, the LFG and the LFR system, and streamlined questing tunnels, you're forced to actually explore the world and make your own solutions. Which brings me to my next point, but first let's recap. Immersion plus MMO equals fun, because the repetitive nature of MMOs can be boring, but the other players make up for it. Vanilla WoW immersed players with difficult and challenging goals that you could acquire with skill, patience, and good attitude to other players, but also required creativity and thoughtfulness. Retail WoW immerses you with cutscenes, dialogue, and visually impressive raid mechanics to be railroaded through with your given team. 
Vanilla WoW further immersed players with a complex and sometimes mysterious path to unique skills, abilities, and items that felt rewarding and satisfying due to the thought and determination required. Modern WoW further immerses players with balanced and easy to understand classes with an obvious path to follow at any given time. Before I go any further, please don't take me as just a complete modern WoW hater. The retail game just isn't for me. Play it all you want. I'm not going to judge retail players. They have their reasons, especially if they're like my brother and have been raiding since TBC. So don't assume I think vanilla players are smarter or better or more skilled than retail players. We all love Warcraft, so I'm going to act like that. I know I said I'd be getting to my next point, and the reason it's taking so long is because it's kind of a stretch. Uh, I'm about to compare Vanilla WoW to a game that's so different, I'm not sure the comparison even works, but here we go. Dark Souls is a game known for its difficulty and challenge, and so is Vanilla WoW in some ways. In both games, you're given vague goals and you'll die a lot trying to complete them, but these games aren't really as hard or as punishing as some would have you believe. While they may be challenging, isn't that what a video game is supposed to be? I'm no hardcore elite gamer and I've beaten every game in the Dark Souls Bloodborne series and I'm not amazing at those games. I'm either amazing at those games or they're not as hard as everyone thinks and I believe the latter is more likely. This is something I feel has been lost in the modern iterations of WoW, the inherent challenge of progressing as a player and not just your character. In both Dark Souls and Vanilla WoW I could feel my character becoming more and more powerful with every level as well as myself becoming a better player with every level. See, you spend more time on a given level or in a given zone, you have time to hone your abilities, and even the minutia of your movements to make you a more efficient and overall skilled player. This will help you in PvP and dungeons and raids, and it'll help you to help other players down the line, further immersing you in your own identity as a player slash character. Meanwhile, in retail, you just boost to 110 ASAP and raid. Raid, 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 because that's what everyone else is doing. Literally thousands of guilds completing the hardest, most exclusive content WoW has to offer. The levels before 110 are meaningless, along with the zones and areas you'd level in. If you want to do well, stay in your garrison, farm gold, and raid. Where's the immersion in that? Where's the community? In conclusion, Vanilla WoW doesn't receive love solely for nostalgia's sake. It was a fundamentally well-designed game with a lot of quirks, but ultimately it became successful on its merits as an interesting game world, whereas recent expansions only appeal to the previous expansion's players. My sensibilities and gaming philosophies just do not fit with Blizzards, either that or they're completely losing sight of what an MMO is. I, I could go way more in-depth into specific topics like LFG, LFR, mounts, and how it affects the scale of the game, world PvP, etc., but I'll save those topics for later. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you liked it, go ahead and click subscribe and like and comment and all that good stuff. This is my first video uh, regarding Vanilla WoW and uh, I'm hopefully gonna be doing a lot more, uh, more gameplay footage of my own. So yeah, let me know what you think and subscribe if you want more videos that don't begin with, hey, what's up guys? <laughs> all right, have a good one.